What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going over something a little bit different. A ranking video that's just a little bit different. You know, all of us have guilty pleasures. I can say I have a lot of them. A lot of things that I shouldn't like, but I actually do like. And I kind of think that's what got me into horror films in the first place. Because when I was a kid, I was watching some really bad horror movies, but it kept me interested and I just kept on building up my knowledge of the horror genre. And now here we are today. But there are five movies in particular that kind of stand out to me. Of course, I can name hundreds of movies that are bad, but I love them. Uh, I mean, look at Friday fans in general. A lot of the Friday the 13th films aren't really all that good, but I enjoy them. So I tried to pick five movies that I think, uh, I think you would probably be upset with that I like. That's kind of the path I'm going here is like, I want to pick the ones that I think are the most notable that I enjoy that you probably hate. Um, as an honorable mention, I'm going to mention Jason X. Of course, that movie's bad. We know it's bad. But I think most of us can enjoy that one. If I didn't mention Jason X, I imagine you would have been upset with me. So, Jason X, for sure. And you can even sneak Part 8 in there if you want to. Because that movie's bad. But I enjoy that one, too. But now let's go into the real, my, my real top five list of movies that are so bad, but I love them anyway. Number five, Scream 3. I don't know why. I don't know why. I know it's bad. I watch it. I sit there I'm like, wow, this writing is so bad. Without Kevin Williamson, this is just not the same movie. But that was my childhood. That movie, I had it on VHS when I was a kid. Like We're talking like four or five years old. And I watched it so many times when I was a kid that the VHS literally burnt out. So, I don't know. There's just too much nostalgia there that I love that movie. And I have to love that movie because it's just burned into my brain. And, like, honestly, most days, I feel like I'd rather watch Scream 3 than I'd rather watch Scream 4. Which is... Which is something... That's saying something, alright? Not many people are gonna say that. Scream 3 is always last for everybody. But a lot of the times, I think I'd prefer it over Scream 4. At my number 4 spot, this one is probably obvious if you've been watching the channel for a while. I still know what you did last summer. The sequel to the 1997 sort of hit, half-ass hit, uh, another teen slasher film that basically was ripping off Scream, but then again, it was Kevin Williamson that wrote it. They dropped a sequel with it, and it's not even close to what the first one is. It's so bad. It's a joke. It's basically a meme in the horror community. I mean, you have Jack Black saying dumb things. You don't really have any likable characters. The, one of the best characters, that being Ray from the first one, is a complete dick for three quarters of the movie so you're you struggle to like him anymore and then you have Julie who's like in the motion to cheat on Ray so you don't really you're kind of like hey what are you doing you don't really like her anymore and then everyone else that's new you don't really like either and then there's Brandy which eh. but I don't know what it is probably one of the most nostalgic movies ever for me I love the music I mean literally like if you listen to our stream songs playlist it's like all music from I Still Know What You Last Summer and I Know What You Last Summer. And the first, I would say the first half, I could watch it on loop. Basically until it becomes a horror movie, I really dig it. I think it's funny, it's a lot of fun to watch, and I just get unbelievable nostalgic vibes. I don't know why, I know it's bad, but I enjoy it just as much. Now, number three spot. My Bloody Valentine remake from 2009 starring Jensen Ackles, and right there, I think is why I like it. I don't know, I mean, you have Tom Atkins being great, you have Jensen Ackles, of course, this was, I liked this movie before I ever saw Supernatural, and I love Supernatural, so now I like it even more. So, I don't know, I like Jensen Ackles in it, I appreciate the twist in it, which is a, uh, quite a bit different than the original, and... Considering that's a remake, it's a lot different, and it's different in a way that I can use. I like murder mystery movies. You're going to figure that out pretty quick. I think that's why I like things like Scream so much and Scooby-Doo so much. Like, I like being able to guess who the person is. And My Bloody Valentine remake added that element where Harry, you it could be Harry Warden. It could be, but it could be someone else too. And I, I, I dig that, so I have a lot of fun with that movie. Again... Although it's kind of recent, it's not that old, only 11 years old. It feels nostalgic to me. It's just got that teen slasher vibe, and I, I dig teen slasher films. Now, on to the next one. Speaking of teen slasher films, although not a true slasher, 
Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare just came out recently, and it's bad. It's really, really bad. Everybody hated it. And I, because everyone hated it, the reviews were so bad, I was like, ah, I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to watch it. And I finally did watch it. And I like, I was like, man, should I be mad at myself that I kind of enjoyed that? Because <laughs> I did. I actually, like, I don't know. I think it's one of those things... With, with a constant mystery, you're not sure what's doing it, how do you fix it. I just think, I think it's those types of things that make me like movies like that. It felt like a teen slasher movie, even though it wasn't a teen slasher movie. So I just kind of fell for it. And I, I enjoyed the movie. Although it's definitely, I don't, I don't love that movie. I enjoy it way more than I should. And that's why I figured I should make this list. Especially because I wanted at least one movie that was like really new on here. And Truth or Dare is that movie. Now, number five, last but not least, and this one hurts my soul, hurts my soul that I like it, that I find entertainment out of it, Halloween Resurrection. I can already see you. You're mad. I'm mad. I'm mad at myself for liking it. It, it kills me, especially because Halloween, you can see it right behind me, is my favorite movie ever, and I know that no sequel can live up to that movie. Like, it's not possible. Halloween 2 doesn't live up to it. Halloween 2018 doesn't live up to it. But if I'm able to, like, hey, here's Halloween. Put it over here. It's in its own spot, its own category. It's a game changer in the genre. And then I'm like, here are the sequels. They're just kind of there. Let's try to let's try to have fun with them. And I look at Resurrection for what it is. Again, a movie that kind of filled my childhood. I remember as a kid when Resurrection was announced and coming out. So I would have been four or five years old when it was announced and coming out. And being sitting there with my family and making up the dumbest theories on how Michael could have possibly survived H2O. And of course, then I was just like, yeah, man in black boots brought him back, stitched that head back on, did some little fancy curse thing. Good to go. Of course, that's not what happens. It's a, that's a way, I like this one more, even though it's still dumb. It, it doesn't make sense that Michael survives. It ruins the ending to H2O. I know all these things. Buster Rhymes is stupid. Tyra Banks is stupid. The entire cast isn't likable, but like, it's Michael still being a badass, except for Busta Rhymes kind of kicking him in the nuts a little bit, but it's Michael in Michael's house and then just going. And I also thought the, the concept of live footage like that, like the use of mixing found footage into an actual cinematic feel is really cool and then they had this option i think one of the reasons i like this movie so much is because i learned so much about filmmaking from it because the behind the scenes were amazing on it i mean i learned about how they built all the sets and how certain things were shot and then they have a feature on the dvd back in the day here where you could only watch the movie from the cameras that are either on their heads or in the house and that was just that's just so cool like no movie nobody does that anymore i think that's why i have a lot of fun with that movie um, uh, not to mention Michael, although the mask is completely unrealistic for him to have, as it's unbelievably nice, it's like a $5 or $500 mask, uh, it's still, it's still pretty cool. And Ryan Merriman is in that movie, and for some reason, anything Ryan Merriman's in, I like. Final Station 3, for example. I like Luck of the Irish, huh? See, look at that. It's all my childhood mixed in together, so I like it. Those are my top five movies that are really bad... But I love them anyway. Let me know yours. And don't don't sit there and act like you don't have any. I know you have some. Alright, all of us have our guilty pleasures. Let me know one or two of movies that are absolutely terrible, but you love any anyway in the comments below. But that's going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.